Hey everybody, I'm Argoflump playing Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Wow, it is five in the morning. What? How am I still awake? Oh, maybe I slept on the train? We need to see Miss Suzato before she leaves. Where is she? Just hiding out there? Reading a book? Hey, hey, don't throw that book in the in the sea, Suzato. Yeah, the trial ended, so we rushed over here to see you goodbye. It went well. I got a not guilty verdict. It was a very long trial and very, very crazy, but uh, hey, we got the good verdict. Encyclopedia of British Law? Why would you throw that out? I might need that. Auto, come on, you're, you're not a, a bad lawyer just because you tampered with one crime scene. Yeah, but it's not like you altered the crime scene in a way to cover up the murder. You didn't do it with malicious intent. You just altered the crime scene so you could look at the crime scene. She cut a hole through the door so she could look at the crime scene. That's totally understandable. Yeah, don't steal my armband. It's very important to me. Suzato does have very, very large sleeves. So we figured as much. That's that's why she used the cat flapo mat to make a peephole. Yeah. The timing of the peephole allowed us to capture the culprit. Sato was worried that, that, that the, the true culprit would be framing Gina. But, you know, don't most culprits in this series try to cover up their crimes by framing innocent people?
So now she's saying she made the people uh, on purpose just to just to set up that trap for the culprit. Wow. That is kind of devious. It would have been nice if you told me before the trial began. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, I guess it would have made me complicit. Yeah. She lost her faith in the legal system, didn't trust it to get uh, Gina found innocent without this crime scene tampering. Yeah, you're 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 not as bad as well, the culprits, the, the murderers who did a lot more. Did a lot did things that were so much worse to, to wreck the crime scenes and try to prevent justice. Some loose ends will play on my mind. Yeah. We're told that the secret message wasn't actually a Morse code. this, Mr. Holmes? Zero pipe problem. A sogi? Wait, what? Yeah, that word definitely means something to me. That was my best friend's last name. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Iris translated the entire message. Wow. Yeah, was it just reverse Morse code, maybe? Maybe the message was written in Japanese. Ah... Uh, yeah, that, that would make sense. Okay, it's based on something. I don't know, that piece of paper she showed uh, had, a, had a, a very long message, not just one word, a sogi. It had lots of words. It just so happens that Suzato has memorized Japanese. Morse code. That's nice of her. Memorized slash she has it written down in her book. I think she's got it written down in her book. Hmm. 
Well, maybe it was a secret communication to Japan. It's a list of four names. Okay, Kazuma Sogi. Yeah. A Shin. No idea. No idea what this one is. Is this Tobias Gregson? Maybe? What does he have to do with uh, Kazuma? Is it mine? Is it my name? Jay Wilson. No! Oh my gosh! It's Iris's father! It reads, that is all for. And that's the end of the message. Did Iris not write down the entire message? Was there more to the message? Could we listen to it? Maybe there was like a message before it that makes sense? Hmm. It is weird that we know three of those four names. Why would Britain want to send those names to Japan? Iris, we probably need to tell you the truth about what happened to your father in Japan. Oh, yeah, we can't tell her about it now. That would be that would be soul crushing. Somehow, in solving the case of Mr. Winterbank's murder, we've got. Another case to solve. Wow. More cases, more mysteries. It's a very good thing this game has a sequel. Otherwise, I'd be I'd be kind of upset that so many things have not been resolved. Sorry, Suzato, it's time for you to go. So she's going to France, and from there she'll go to Japan. Good luck. I hope you, uh, I hope you have a good time. I hope things get better with your sick father. I'm sorry, excuse me, what was that line? I hope to have you always at my side to guide me and support me. Are you going to propose, Ryunosuke? Because that sounds like I want to marry you. You really are the best judicial assistant in the world. I love you, Suzano. Secret promise to Iris? Yeah, 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 yeah! What's your promise about the Hound of the Baskervilles? Okay! Well, Suzato says she's gonna come back someday. And, and reveal how she knew the name of the Hound of the Baskervilles. How did she know that story? I remember the first time we met? Yeah, during my terrible trial. No, 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 not Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke, how do you forget all? I'm sure that I'll be back soon. Farewell until then. Okay, goodbye. Oh, he 
This is so sad. It reminds me of the first Phoenix Wright game, which also, also ended with Maya going away. Very sad. Somehow we seem to have come to the end of the adventures of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. Or the first volume, at least. Looking back now, it feels as though fate has led me on this journey. Fate led me to becoming a lawyer, to traveling halfway around the world, to meeting the great detective. I'm sure there'll be trials and tribulations ahead. Of course there will. But whatever happens, I know I'll be able to turn my fortunes around. After all, I have the greatest friends in the world on my side. What is it, Mr. Holmes? Finish playing your, uh, <laughs> violin. Awkward news. Oh, and you're being sued. Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Why, why, why is it my fault? Why are you blaming me? No, 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 I, I don't want to go to court for your crimes. What? No! Don't testify against me! Van Zeeks would love, love, love to get a guilty verdict in a trial against me. I'm gonna have to sue you, Mr. Holmes. That's what I- that's what I'll have to do in this trial. Okay. Objection! That's what I have to say! Objection! And I imagine these- these are the ending credits, okay. Let's see what happens with all the various characters. Okay. Sherlock Holmes forgot he ordered a bunch of music boxes. Okay, so he used his great reputation in order to sell them. And wow. Wow, he made a lot of money selling Sherlock Holmes merchandise. Okay. Good job, Sherlock Holmes. Very busy writing a, a new manuscript. Ouchie, what are you what are you doing in Japan? Still being a great prosecutor <laughs> going after these? These crazy witnesses. He's having the baby testify on his behalf. Okay. Well, it looks like things are just as crazy as uh, they were in Japan. Ryonosuke is definitely going to have to come back and, and help their legal system. Okay, Hosonaga. Yeah, he was given a secret mission to save uh, Kazuma's life. Why, 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 I'm wondering. What was so important about Kazuma and his mission in Britain? 
And now Suzuki is is being <laughs> arrested for taking kittens on on board a steamship. I'm also wondering what's up with the Inspector Hosonaga's cough, because he was coughing blood, and that's just strange. Strongheart! Now, I was thinking Strongheart would be a culprit, because he looks evil and nasty. But, I guess he's just big on clocks and stuff like that. He did seem like a really mean manipulator at some points. Definitely seemed to be setting me up for failure, right? During some of those cases, giving me last minute assignments. Yeah, I thought those top secret government uh, things in the trial would have uh, dealt with him, but nope. Nope. Aw oh, man, so now Gregson. Gregson likes to quote his famous line in the Sherlock Holmes stories. That's so cute. I have to say, I find it's odd, because in in the original Sherlock Holmes stories, the character is not called Inspector Gregson, it's Inspector Lestrade. But they gave that last name to Gina instead. I, I don't know why. Huh. I mean, because that character is clearly supposed to be Lestrade. I, I don't know why they changed his name and made somebody else a Lestrade. And Mr. Garadab has become a maid. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. Aw, these two... They were such a cute couple. I don't feel bad for them for, like, misleading us in the trial. I said Iris visits her regularly. That's kind of an interesting line. What, is she going to grow up to become an Inspector Lestrade now? And become a great investigator? No, that doesn't fit with the timeline. Holmes definitely works with Investigator Lestrade. Okay, so Graydon... Graydon doesn't have any regrets about his life of crime. Wow. It certainly seems weird he's going to be dancing with those, those brothers from now on. Yep. I remember those past six months forevermore. Painful goodbyes, wonderful encounters. I've come to realize that's what life is all about. Hodo san I promise your assistant will return to you someday. But for now, I leave you with many memories and a heartfelt wish that life will treat you well. Ah, look, it's a cute picture of all of our friends having fun. Why is Rinosuke wearing a hat? Does he normally wear a hat? I... Huh. I... Okay.
Okay. Now what's this? More ending credits? More ending credits, okay. So we'll just be going through all these uh, various characters because we have the, the first trial. Yeah, because it was interesting. I wonder why he was killed so early on. It would have been interesting if he continued. Kind of reminds me of the first Phoenix Wright game where, well, Phoenix's mentor was killed in case number two, just like this one. Yeah, the culprit from case number one, Miss Brett, uh, we really didn't follow up on her. We never saw her again. I thought we would get a reference to her, but no, she got away with killing Dr. Watson. Yeah. Case number two, kind of a ridiculous case, but also kind of a, an interesting one. Because there's no trial segment. It's all just investigation and uh, introduction to Sherlock Holmes, and then proving my own innocence. But yeah. Yeah, it was very interesting how, you know, this, this entire game is about Nar Naruhoto going to Japan. Oh, no, sorry. It's about him going to London and becoming a great lawyer. But that doesn't happen until, like, halfway through the game. Okay, case number three. So let's say, uh, you know, 40% of the way through the game. So, after case number two, he, he became a fancy lawyer with a sword. And moved on to case number three. This is Otto as his assistant. Man, yeah, male strong guard. It's just, just a strange, nasty guy. All these people involved in the case, I kind of want to replay case number three again. You know, knowing that everything was a lie and a fake, and, and, and McGilded was just manipulating us the whole time, it, it seems like that'd be, be an interesting thing to do. Like, it, it would make replaying the case at least somewhat more interesting. Yes, it's Sherlock Holmes! Whatever reason called Herlock Scholes in this game. I think they changed his name because they didn't want to get sued. I think that's the reason why. Now this case with the Garadabs, which is kind of a strange, strange case. I'm not sure why they called it the Clouded Kokoro. Like, there's nothing about Kokoros in that case. They really should have called it something else. And Mr. Natsume did all these weird expressions and poses. That was weird, too. I don't know, maybe... Maybe it made more sense in the original Japanese. Okay, then the Iris didn't really join our team until case number five. That's true. Yeah. So it's like we have to have a new character every single case, I suppose. Well, that would be kind of interesting. We're, we're just changing things up, getting new people every case. Van Zeeks? I thought Van Zeeks was okay as a prosecutor. I heard, you know, my friend said, oh, it's just Edgeworth, but slightly different. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with that. Edgeworth is a cool prosecutor. Edgeworth being the prosecutor from the uh, Phoenix Wright series. The very, very famous prosecutor. Everybody likes him the best. People, people like the others as much. Um, Francisca Von Karma and... Inspector Godot. Alrighty. So I think that's it. Uh, 
This has got to be the end of the game, right? We're just finishing with a walking animation starring our four main characters. <laughs> the end! Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video walkthrough. Yes, thank you for watching my, uh, my videos. You can check out my walkthroughs for the other uh, Phoenix Wright games. I've played all of the Ace Attorney games. Except I think it's, uh, what do you call it? Um, the second uh, Miles Edgeworth game, the one that was never released in America. So I guess that's the only uh, Ace Attorney game which was not released in English. So I haven't played that one. But I played all the others, so you, you can check out my video walkthroughs for that. And hopefully someday I'll do a video walkthrough for this second game here. Because there are two games in this pack. It's not just Great Ace Attorney Adventures. It's also Great Ace Attorney number two. It's called Resolve. That's the name of uh, game number two. So Blossoming Attorney. The Clouded Kokoro. Oh man, we're doing a like a sequel to that Kokoro case? Okay. Return of the Great Departed Soul. What is that? that so somebody's back even though they're dead and then twisted karma and his last bow Ooh, wonder if that deals with manfred von karma very scary prosecutor from phoenix right ace attorney and then uh the final final case resolve ryunosuke naruhodo i have to imagine um that there isn't a game three because these are copyright uh, i mean it's copyright 2017 15 and 17 so if they were planning on making a game three, they probably would already be working on it, right? Maybe, who knows, who knows? Maybe this collection will be a, a, a bestseller when they're, now that they've released the game for the Nintendo Switch in HD. Maybe that will, you know, generate a lot of revenue and a lot of interest in the series, and they'll continue it. Or, hey, who knows? Maybe they'll do another Phoenix Wright game. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. Who knows what the future may bring? Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching me, watching me go through this great adventure.